Hello, my lovely humans, welcome back to another Thazir on my channel, where we are going to be covering Strangerville by The Sims 4. This is the latest game pack that just came out yesterday. Sorry that my review is going up a little bit late, but of course you guys can tune in every single day this week. We're at 4, at 4 o'clock for a stream, so set your timers. Um, very sure it's going to be at 4 o'clock. If not, follow me on Twitter. On Twitter, I did post a poll where four of you guys did vote. Um, three of you guys... I don't know, some of a set of you guys did vote that you guys wanted separate videos for the first three reviews um, before we jump into the live streams that are coming. So we're going to be doing a caster review. We are going to be doing, um, by the way, this is going to be the intro for each and every single one of them. So it, if you guys want to skip the intro part, you totally can. Um, if you've seen, if you're watching all the videos, but we're doing a cast overview, a world overview, and of course, um, a build and buy objects overview. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this pack so far floating around on Twitter, but I've tried my hardest to keep very, very secretive about it. I cannot wait to explore StrangerVille and just do this live stream with you guys and do the whole thing. We're going to be creating the characters, everything else with together, but we have some things to go through. So this is my favorite part about the pack is the new, new ones. So welcome to StrangerVille, a seemingly normal world shrouded in secrecy. Watch the world change for you as you dig deeper and deeper into the mystery, unravel its secrets to the world, fall in love with its charm. Roger that. Join the all-new military career, which I'm very excited about, where your sim can become a Grand Marshal or maybe take the path of Cobra Operator to keep tabs on suspicious or maybe not that suspicious, wink, sims in the world. Leave no stone unturned with the new StrangerVille mystery aspiration, your sim will be in head first into the investigation. Can your sim uncover what it is truly behind that is plaguing this town? And of course, the secret lab that everybody's talking about. Locals say ever since the secret lab got built, the town has been acting weird. But the only way to find out is to investigate. Traverse the lower levels of the secret lab and what hides behind the curtain. So I'm very, very excited about this. Um, but without further ado, you guys are here to watch one of the free videos. So let's jump into whichever video you clicked on. I'm very hoping that you did like it. And go ahead and just give me a big fat thumbs up. And of course, right before we jump into those overviews, we of course, I'll explain who I am, what I am, and everything else like that when you where else you can find me. But go ahead and get that like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that's very important. You understand that all my content comes out on my channel and you should subscribe to me and become a human. All right, what to get into this review? Hold on, you guys want to see the background? So this is the picture for the background. I'm very, very excited about this. All right, without further ado, let's jump into whatever. Hello, my well beings. Welcome back to another fabulous video here. Oh, that's not true. We are, we are did an intro. This is the bone by section of my overview. Um, I'm, of course, Cable Fly Fly Way. If this is your first time ever watching a video of mine, I post Sims 2 content, Book 2 content, and some movie content at the end of the week. But mostly, Sims 2 and Book 2 will take place through Monday through Friday, especially this week. If you're watching this as it releases, um, I will be doing live streams every single day. Um, with Stranger Veil. That's how I'm going to try to do most packs and things like that. I think it's the easiest. But without further ado, let's jump in and let's talk about um, these items. Now, this is a, a plot in Stranger Veil, um, up in the mountain area. I was kind of nervous, though, won't lie. So we have that house, and we have some other houses and things like that. Okay, I can see down there. Oh, different story, different day. But, of course, um, if you want to check out what this place is called, what the significance of this place, and things like that, then go ahead and check out my world overview. If you're watching this later, I will have one over um, StrangerVille itself. So, of course, we're going to put a wall back here. Typical fashion. Actually, you know what? To be honest with you, I think we'll probably make a room. Because it might be easier to showcase lights and stuff and wallpaper. So, without further ado, we're going to start from the top. Anything that is gold will go over. This video can roll on for some time. Um, there is no chapter times for build and buy sections. If there's a certain section you want me to get to, just go ahead and start um, scrubbing through. And when we get to items, um, maybe I'll do a function section in a, like, other section. Not sure yet. I haven't decided. We'll decide when we get there. But, are these... Okay, so... We have this cute little thing that I'm a huge fan of. Oh, I'm a huge fan of you too. And you. Oh yeah, NASA. That's that's great. I love that. Um, the old timey chimney. Uh huh. Need more of those. And not that quite. Oh, that's beautiful too. Oh, I'm a huge fan of like all that stuff up there. So that's good. Um, it's kind of hard to find normally. So continuing down. Um, before we hit the stables, we should probably go and look at our 
oh, okay, so this is the illusion of a fence. Is it real? Is it really there? Um, for you getting paranoids. But that's really nice because these fences I tend to like to um, close off rooms and stuff with. But I tend to be using um, the ones when we get to work. So now if you have change available, you can totally tag on in with those builds too. Um, we have another chain fence, a twisting perks. I think this is beautiful as well. Um, the colors and such are your nice standardary colors. These even look like more base game related colors, which I think was a point that I saw somewhere is that most swatches do relate back to the base game, which is interesting. Um, and then we have another, we have a classic picket, not a big picket. If you want a big picket, you have to buy, um, they already did one of those. And then we have, oh my gosh, the almost grapples is probably my new favorite fence. That is beautiful. Like indoor fencing is just got it just got upgraded to like beautifulness. That's great. I'm very happy about this, guys. Very very happy. Ten out of ten. But of course, with some grapples, we do get some new um, pull um, some columns, new columns, not poles, sorry. And they do come in the customary colors that will fit your game, and of course, um, the colors that will fit what we're working with here, and then of course we did get some new uh, spandrels, where we have this new spandrel, which has a very pretty texture on the outside, and then we also have this spandrel, which also has a pretty texture, but I will not mention they do look like base game friendly, um, base game related content, which is something I, I've heard a lot about, oh, oh guys, I want to explore that, I want to know what that is, does it tell me, wild bizarre plant, it's all it tells me, okay, Dang it, I want spoilers. Did you want spoilers? I kind of wanted them. Alright, so doors will come over here. Um, this is a third level door, right? Yep. Alright, so we can look at all the doors. Because normally, by the way, there's only bigger and better doors as you go on. So we have the botched neighbor door. Oh, I love how there's um a um, mailbox shoot on that door. That's very lovely. Huge fan of that. Oh, that seems to be a common trend. We like a trend. We're all four trends. Alright, um, look at being a trend center. And then we have this one, but I won't lie, this also makes it kind of feel like it's an apartment building or something like that. And so once again, kind of annoyed that there isn't any in this path, even though um, some groups have very specifically said that they're never redoing something they've done before, but still, I just feel like this would be an excellent path to put makeshift apartments in. But overall, I'm a very big fan of all these doors that I'm putting down. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I do like the idea of it, though. I'm curious to see how I would use this in a build, and I cannot wait to figure out what I actually do. I'm happy we have a new door. I don't really like the bottom of the door. Problems, issues. So we have the invite. Oh, wow. Ooh, can we just... Alright, so we have an alien, no alien thing. Um, some pictures. Like, one that got busted up. And then we have the lab door, which obviously needed in which there's several different versions of that too. Also, very intriguing. Um, we're just gonna very quickly get rid of the doors because we're gonna need them for walls. Alrighty, so moving on to the windows. Um, we do have several, we have six windows to go through. So we have the classic kind of country style, which is kind of what this pack feels like, um, but with the fencing, which is pretty cool. And we have the normal one without the the, I can't remember what they're called, the things outside the windows. <coughs> so we have one of those, and then we also have one of these, which is really, really cool. Um, I like this window a lot, and these are for um, the smaller wall heights, which is pretty cool, because normally windows like these, this window in particular, they would be for the bigger wall heights. But these almost look like church windows, which is intriguing to me as well, because I did see a cross. Um, so, very interesting, if you want to check out... What I think about that it is in my cast overview. Um, of course, it's going to be linked down below. All my overviews are always linked down below when they go together. Um, but yeah, overall, impressed by the windows. Um, so, we do have some new fence gates. So we have this one that corresponds with that particular fence. This one that corresponds with this particular fence. Then we have bigger one that corresponds, which I would even say that particular fence as well. So that's nice if you guys are looking for new fences. It does not seem like we have any new stairs, and so, but we do have a new old school stair rail, 
even though we don't have a Sayer to accompany it. I will not be showcasing this because we don't have new Sayer, so don't really see the point here. Um, my pool objects are lying to me, and so are my other objects, so we're going to continue moving on to wallpaper, which is, of course, most people's favorite, but we only get two with this particular pack, so that's a favorite. Keep that in mind when purchasing. So we have this rustic one, which I'm really excited about because I'm, I can't wait to figure out how they actually use this in their builds around town. Um, if you guys are curious to see my opinion about that, I will have to part of my world overview. I'm going to start shot at the top, plugging myself. I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. But they, we have this metal one that shines, which I really like the shimmer. And that's really cool. It almost looks translucent, which looks really cool as well. And then for flooring, we have two new ones. We have a dirtier tile than, yeah, okay, that's a base game reprint, which is not something new that they've never done before. They have done base game reprints. Um, and then we have this one. These kind of look like lab type things, and so I'm very curious to see if that's what they are, if they are lab type things. Um, we, of course, are just going to go very quickly put some stuff in here so we have a nice background and things like that. To go across and then of course it does say we have a stage animation which is not a part of this pack okay now moving on down into the next section of this part which obviously is the part that we're all really really excited about um, i'm going to very quickly put some some windows in to bring in some light i think that's important so just gonna put them like around the box um, are you guys wanting a build from me with this stuff? Please comment down below if you are, um, because I would love to know. If so, is there any particular builds that you think um, would be very intriguing? Do you want to see my own version of like a secret lab? I did a vampire layer when vampire stuff came out. Um, so, vampire game pack came out. So, I would be interested in doing that for you if that is something that you are interested in. Oh, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay. At least they're making top-notch content. Alright, so we have a whole variety, not a ton of content here, but of course, I want to be blown away by the story, so hopefully that's where they come in from. But we have the bunk. Oh, I love that. Okay, that's my, that's really cool. Very, very big fan of the bunk. I'm wondering if the bunk has any type of, like, uses out of that. Not very sure. We have the new chair that looks like a, like a, a stationary hat. We get cooking it, which is interesting. Where are you? We have the experimental aluminum table. Not entirely sure what you go to either. Extremely curious. Um, most of the stuff obviously probably has to go with the actual game. Um, like things that are going to be important. But I do like the fact that more than likely these are skill based things. Um, and so we do get to interact with those things. And then we have a whole new desk, which the desk looks like a stationary desk, which I'm very, very big fan of as well. Where I'm assuming this chair can just fit right in. So we have a heavy de heavy metal, heavy duty shelf, which we're going to showcase. Um, not right there. We're going to showcase over here. I'm a huge fan of this. Um, obviously, this is for like people who think we need to go underground. And honestly, I could just see myself putting this in like a garage. And that's definitely a good garage where we need more of that. So we have the glass top stairs. What are can you walk up them? Can you walk up them? Can we put things on top? We can't put things on top. Okay, that's really interesting. We have the plant containment cell, which is obviously having to do with the actual game pack. Um, we have the epic do-it-yourself shower, which once again, I'm a huge fan of. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm just a very big fan of this. I think this is super cool. I like the idea of it. Um, so we have the listening device. Once again, very curious to see how all this stuff interacts. If you're curious, check out my live streams. I'm sorry. You want me to stop plugging myself. I get it. It's annoying. All right. And then we have the listening device with chair. So in case you don't want one without chair, I don't know if they're usable with or without chair. Um, we have the B, B. Oh, this is one of the ones I'm really excited for too. The training bot. I was very curious about this from the trailer, so happy that we get to see um, and explore it here. Let's see here. 
We have the very knickknack bar, which seems to be very well decorated. Oh yeah, they did a very good job. I can tell they were decorated. This had a very much fun time. And also, it gives me some um, type of uh, university vibes. So hopefully that's a good sign for university that is probably foreseen coming in the near future. The knickknack bar shack. Oh, okay. So this is the actual shack where you can buy knickknacks that are kind of crazy. It's been showcased before. Um, there are no secondary colors. So this is also something I saw in the trailer that I was very, very intrigued by was um, this plant tub or something for some weird reason. I think it's very intriguing. Um, strange wall vines. So the first thing I noticed by these is that they look exactly like the plant, which is over here. So I'm curious if it does spread, if that's what happens. Very, very interested. Um, the glass spectacle. What is that? Grunge. Oh, the grunge spectacle. Okay, so it's like um, with vampires, we got all these different like things to make the like the room worse. These are different things to make the room worse. Now I understand. I understand what they're going for. So we have the stranger. Um... Okay, is there all that I don't have? Okay. Um, this is the naval base poster, and we have several different posters like this. I, I, I think these are very versatile. I don't think you actually have to technically use them for what they're using for. Then we have the storytelling um, ones, which also kind of looks like cars inspired. Very much enjoyed that painting. It adds some some story based elements and things like that. I think it's really cool. Let's see here. We have the rejected tendril, which. Once again, curious about, hopefully none of this stuff gives me spoilers. Um, we have plane wings. Um, we do know there's a plane crash place here. Don't know what it looks like yet, but I'm assuming all this stuff can be found there. Let's see here, yep, the plane engine. I think it's a bar, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then we have the front more, and we have like the body of it. The unorganized documents, which to be honest with you, I just like the idea. I think it adds more realism to it. We have the important paper cutter, which also adds some great realism. Um, what are these files? Not your grandma's old photos, which I think is really cool too. The containment thing, which is really cool. The beakers and burners, super cool. If you have a science assistant, sim, definitely right up your alley. So we have some grunge spots on the floor, which is interesting, and they they do increase in size. I think. That's probably the biggest one, yeah. And they get smaller and smaller. Um, the retracted rug, also very curious about. So it's three, it's like, you know, you're working really late, and so you put that down. It's a great story element. And we have the strange four vines rug as well. Um, also very interesting. And then we do have just a normal rug. If anybody was asking where's the normal rug, this is what we get. Several different color power, and I don't know exactly how much I would use that particular rug, but I'm happy that we got one. Um, okay, let's go to the outside world then. So then we have this like flag type thing, also very intriguing, very interesting. Um, I do like how we have several items from this. Let's see here, so we have the purifier prototype. Oh, it's outside. I'm assuming this is like something they would use inside like this, the the lab, I think that would be really interesting. So we have this big inception wall, which I'm so not sure. And then we have the oversized metal wall bracket, which is oversized and it's metal and it's a wall. So it, we have the top secret monitor. Oh, that's cool. So once again, they just like recolored once um, the normal TV from the game and they gave it to you to $100. Um, I will check very curiously and see if the colors. No, each one does have a different one. One even has a crack on it. Also very interesting, um, could be really fun for like making a house really bad challenge. That could be something you could use that for. Uh, let's see here. So what is this? The vertical spray noise. That almost makes me feel like we should get a, a shower. Um, a scrolling doco clock. Which is just a clock with several beautiful paintings. Okay. The indestructible sign. Which... Kind of looks like we're promoting something. So I'm wondering if that's actually what it is. Because this looks like major promotion. 
but I do like how there's a variety, and so you can be promoting like basically anything. The wiki level, um, oh, it's very small. Okay, where are we gonna put you? Honestly, I don't know. We don't have many surfaces in this game. Okay, we can put you right here. So this is what that looks like, the wiki wavicle. Very interested. Um, the non-functional air conditioner dryer. Glad they... I, don't, I feel like by this point, because of seasons, um, we should have probably got an air conditioner. Oh. There they are. Won't lie. Been kind of waiting for them. So we have the crazy bottom air pillow. The bar back Shelly photo. So this is like a bar back. Um... Very cute. Like I said, um, I'm sure these are probably used in actual builds, so can't wait to figure out what they're actually used for. Then we have Lava Beacons, which we have several colors of. Kind of like if you get the special edition version of the game, um, you get some like uh, diamonds, uh, plum bobs for the moods. Kind of like that. So then we have the, the Unidentified Lamp. Okay, obviously they're trying to sell me that this is... Um, going to be aliens that's the whole reason behind this but it can't be because we already have aliens in the game so i would be very intrigued if it is oh wow those are that's a light by the way that's intriguing that's cool um we have the live laboratory light strip we have the industrial i like all these and of course we have the standard portable computer which is the big word here and i think the most prominent word that can be use here we're gonna move some things is portable wait why can't this go on a desk it's a desk maybe um is it because of you? Is that the reason? No? Is it because of you? It was! I'm wondering if it's only because of the back one. So, here's a close-up version of it. Um, it's very small. I don't know if I like how small it is. But of course, would I want a 15-inch for my sim? And of course, people are going to make many conversions of this, so I can't exactly surprise. Then we have a customized portable computer. So I want to see how why it's customized. So this is increased several. They increase the same amount of skills, and yet um, basic for it, but now in more fresh, fun colors. So these brings interesting colors to the wheel, and so it's like a recolor version of that same one. Obviously, my biggest thing here, which we're gonna look at as soon as this is over, because um, I think it's a functional thing. I don't think it's. I think it's something that we all are questioning ourselves. It says portable. I want to see it move, so we're gonna make it kind of portable. Um, so that's a pillar of pulse. This is a a five miller thing. Very intrigued. I'm intrigued by all this. I don't know what half this stuff means, and so I can't wait to figure out what it means, how we use it, and things like that. Um, we have the Regal bookcase, which I'm I'm actually kind of in love with, to be honest with you. Also, fun fact that it looks like an Xbox One. Don't know if that's on purpose, but it did. Um, then we have the military gets their own new thing, and there's no sign. Sign. Oh, interesting. Then we have the ranking rug. We have the military grade. So we have several military aspects. If you guys care, it's about the military career. Um then that is something we are definitely going to be showing off in that in the new series. But of course, the biggest question of them all, other than what the frick these things are, is going to be, are you portable? We can stick it in our inventory. Honestly, this right here, I think, is a huge selling point for me personally. I don't know how much of a selling point it is for you. Let me down below a... Um, Oh, change passwords? That's that's interesting. But being able to put the laptop in your inventory and be able to travel with it, does that change the game for you? Um, in any shape or form? Like, what does that do? I want to know. I'm very curious to see your opinion about it personally. Um, I'm extremely curious to see your opinion about it. So please, please, 
let me know in the comments down below if that is something that you're at all intrigued about at all. Um, because honestly, it was a huge selling point to me. It's how I told my sister on this pack was that we get laptops. She was like, oh, we really do. And I said, yeah, or supposedly. Um, they were not promoting it at all. And then, um, so, yeah, very intrigued by that. But guys, that, of course, is the end of this particular review. Um, if you guys want to watch my next review, it should be broad view, uh, review. I don't know how you're watching these, but I will have three reviews. And like I said, we'll be live streaming. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all next time for another review.